not attempt any of the stunts you're about to see. Just when all hope seemed lost, message of a new message to an unknown old great world. Freaking little make you here, boys. Coming to you live, all the way from the silo. That's right. This is our first video in the silo. Ta-da! Hey, well, it's got one floor up. The first floor. I love it. It's got walls, it's got echo, it's got everything I need. Creates an awesome wind block and today it is very windy so you know I'm sure that you can't hear that really on camera right now. She's not blowing across my microphone because the wind is blocked out. And that was the whole point with this silo studio. I got tons of other videos about the van and about this. And I just haven't had time to uh, edit videos that are doing bolts and playing with GM's pass lock and all that. Ah, uh, yeah, there's a lot of bolts. A lot. Anyhow, we're well past the point of bolting, and it's time to start putting beams in. So, I went down to my local lumber yard, paid way too much for some spruce 2x6s. We're going to stand these suckers upright, and we're going to put an I-beam across two of them, actually. And, uh, yeah, hopefully we can get that done today. If I bolted everything by myself, how did I do it? Well, you can see right here I made a makeshift crane. That's right, I got a pole that goes way up there to a greased rope. And uh, I just basically took one bolt in the corner and I struggled to get that bolted. And then I attached the hook to the top of the other corner and I used the grease rope to lift it up, hold it in place, and then I started uh, doing all my bolts. It wasn't too bad getting the holes to line up. Not too bad at all. Anyhow, I will show you how I accomplished doing all of these bolts inside and outside by myself. All right, so here you go. You can see I have vice grips clamped down tight on the bolt. And they go into a piece of square tube, which goes all the way down there to the ground and holds it. Yeah, then after you're done every bolt, you give her one of these, take that off and on to the next one. Anyhow, there has been a ton of bolts. So if you're wondering why there's been no videos, that's why. Lots of bolts and very, very boring videos to be made with that kind of content. Anyhow, I have to start lining up the balcony, which means that I'll know where I'm going to place my holes to start sliding the I-beams through and then bolt the uprights to the wall and there's a whole bunch of stuff to do but the videos are going to start getting exciting when I start banging the roof and the floor onto this thing oh yeah oh yeah we have one 2x6 chunk and just whack it break it Ugh. That's right, I just broke a 2x6 in half with my bare hands. Alright, here we go. Another day and more silo work. You can see I have my uprights that are going to carry the weight of the I-beam down to the bottom. I will put more bolts in them later. When I get to a store where they're cheaper, they're like $5 each here. Here we are, and if you look way up, you'll see I have the gantry over here. I'm going to use it to pick up my I-beams and hopefully slide them in the hole. <laughs> I'm not too sure about it, but we'll see. I bought two very long I-beams. They're 24 feet long and extremely heavy. I wouldn't be surprised if that sucker weighed uh, 500 pounds. There you go. You can see I have an eye cut on the other side and somehow, some way, with no gantry inside the silo, the beam needs to come in. Hover across the silo and go right out that other side. This should be very interesting.
It's now pretty late in the day, but you can see I have the gantry set up. There she is. She's kind of sketchy. My slab is not totally in place yet, but kind of, sort of. And I got my I-beam here. I just got to get the I-beam under there. Crank her up with the chain and stab it in that hole. Sounds easy. All right, here's what we have going on. Yes, it does look a little bit crazy. So we got the chain block hooked up, halfway down the beam almost, and we've almost got her in the hole. As soon as we get it in the hole and start shimmying it into the silo, we'll get back with you. As you can see, the upside down locker says danger on it. And it has some upside down flames that I painted long ago. Anyhow, there you go. It's a stunt dummy move for sure. This is not the safest way to put a beam in, but it works. Born on the mountaintop in Tennessee, the greenest state in the land of the free. Raised in the woods so he knew every tree. Old Glenn killed a bar when he was only three. <laughs> I like that song. <laughs> I wonder if any of them know it. <laughs> Do you know the Deep in the Heart of Texas song? Deep in the Heart of Texas. So you've seen the outside, now you get to see the inside. There's the beam. We're trying to move it to that hole. We're almost there. Well, you almost got to see the beam go in, but it started pouring rain. As usual, this has been a daily occurrence. Anyhow, comment, rate, subscribe, and stay tuned for tomorrow, because we're getting these beams in. <laughs>